Hey, me and Matt here. 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 Hey, I was gonna do a video that was kinda similar to the whole Tessa Blanchard thing, but I just saw another video recently, and well, the gist of it was Triple H or Paul Ovec, whichever you wanna, it's Twitter, so fuck it. He made some comments about Edge and Paige returning, and somehow talked about Paige not having children, or sleeping around and having children she doesn't know about something along those lines so as it turns out i was watching another video apparently triple h or polovac made an apology saying that he was sorry he didn't mean it like that it was a joke or something along those lines and for some reason Paige goes well, I was a bit taken aback. I probably should have realized it was a joke. Which, I kind of think it's weird, you know. You get all offended about something, and then you kind of go, Oh, well, you were joking? Well, I fucking get it. And here's the thing. When you look at how the internet works, and Twitter, and... You have to be careful what you say. I say that a lot of my videos. Be careful what you fucking say. I think that Tessa Blanchard can learn from that. Because apparently. She hasn't really owned up to. Being a racist. Bigot or whatever. And. Other people who have defended her. You know. Kind of. Is interesting to me. It's like. Well, you know, the past is the past, but in reality, like, I don't even know how what to think anymore. It's kind of like, people make mistakes, and that's kind of what I think in this whole entire thing, is that, yeah, you know what, people make mistakes. That's just the way it is. And we have to learn from them. I hope that Tessa... Issues a statement about the whole accusation of bullying and being racist because in this day and age it's not cool whatsoever to be like that so whether it's real or not I'm hoping that she does make a statement of some kind or on Twitter at least. That doesn't excuse her about becoming the new world champion now. Talk to you later. Bye. So, for those of you who may have heard a while ago anyways, I found out that Rocky Johnson, Solomon Rocky Johnson, had passed away at 75 years old. There's no cause to what happened. It fucking just happened. And... It's kind of crazy now because it's like, yeah, I just did a video for La Parca and the other two wrestlers I can't remember. And it, wow, I mean, I first read the magazines that my brother had when I was a kid, and it had Soul Man, Rocky Johnson, and Mr. Olympia, Tony Atlas as the first African-American take team champion. It was insane. You know, he wrestled all over the place. Stampede Wrestling and WWF. WWF, you know. Had found out a few years ago that he is from Nova Scotia, Canada. 
So that, to me, was pretty cool. So The Rock is half Canadian. But, yes, of course, the father of The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. So, my thoughts go out to the family. Ida, of course. I know that he was divorced for a long time from her. That still hits home. You know, the love is always there. But, my thoughts go out to the family of both Rocky Johnson and the others friends as well. And it's just crazy. You know, seventy five years old.